Isn't it the victor that writes the history books? And if so, then how do we know that the history books contain much truth at all? Very little has been written about what are known as the Gnostics. These were intellectual shamans, perhaps the Magi. In 1945, the Nag Hammadi texts were found in Egypt. In fact, some researchers believe that these Gnostics did not call themselves Gnostics at all. Research suggests that the term Gnostic was a derogatory term used by the Christianized Romans, which meant know-it-all. There is evidence to suggest that these great thinkers called themselves teleste, meaning aimed, perhaps suggesting that they were going in the proper direction, or at least they were clear on their destination. Christians will often tell you that these Gnostics were an early Christian offshoot or sect, when it appears they had much more in line with the pagans, the word pagan actually meaning rural. The Teleste did not believe in a redeemer. They stood against the idea that you and I have to repent or be saved from our original sin. To them, this seemed utterly absurd and totally demonic. How could a child only seconds old be a sinner? It's madness, nothing less. The pagans lived in line with nature and the earth. In fact, some research shows that they believed that humanity and the earth were connected. And we only have to look at the symbiotic nature of trees and humans to see that this is true. When we breathe, they grow. Then we, in turn, breathe again. In fact, the carbon or CO2 you will be taxed for will be the carbon you breathe out. Yes, these Illuminati lunatics want to tax you for your relationship with nature. You are the carbon they want to destroy. That's what net zero really means. We are truly dealing with a death cult, and in their delusions of grandeur, they believe that they can do it better than a creator. The bizarre belief that you are born a sinner led to salvationism and the redeemer complex, the need to be saved or forgiven, and thus a savior was born who died for your sins, the sin of being born.